Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Pajama Storytime. If you didn't know, yesterday we opened our doors again for browsing. So we are open for people to come in and browse for books and say hello. At this time we're still doing all of our programs virtually, but you can come into the library to get books and we would love to see you. So let's get started with our Pajama Storytime. It is April, and April is Poetry Month, so I wanted to start our pajama story time with a poem by one of my favorite poets, Shel Silverstein, the author of Where the Sidewalk Ends. And for tonight, we are going to read The Farmer and the Queen. She's coming, the farmer said to the owl. Oh, what shall I, what shall I do? Shall I bow when she comes? Shall I twiddle my thumbs? The owl said, who? Who? The queen, the queen, the royal queen. She'll pass the farm today. Shall I salute? He asked the horse. The horse said, nay. Shall I give her a gift? He asked the wren, a lovely memento for her to keep. An egg or a peach or an ear of corn? The wren said, Gee. Cheap. But should I curtsy or should I cheer? Oh, here is her carriage now. What shall I do? He asked the dog. The dog said, bow, bow. And so he did. And so she passed. Oh, tra la 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 la. She smiled. She did. He told the sheep. The sheep said, <laughs> I like that poem because it's like the animals are telling the farmer what to do when they're really just making animal sounds. <laughs> so we have an awesome poetry display that you can come check out when you come to the library and find some more books on poetry. For tonight's story, we are going to read Attack of the Underwear Dragon. Yes, you heard me right. The underwear dragon. That is a dragon, and it is wearing a very large pair of underwear. This is written by Scott Rothman and illustrated by Pete Oswald. So, Attack of the Underwear Dragon. This is Cole. Cole had always wished he could be an assistant knight to Sir Percival, his favorite knight of King Arthur's round table. So Cole wrote him a letter. Dear Sir Percival, I would make a great assistant knight because I am smart, I work hard, and whatever I don't know, I promise to learn. Please give me a shot, Cole. Sir Percival read Cole's letter and cried. That's right, knights cry. Knights cry at sad plays and bad plays. They cry when they step on something sharp. Yeah, like a Lego castle. You step on a Lego. Woo, those hurt. Or run into a harp. When they cut onions or get bunions. When they get stuck on castle ceilings or when a wizard hurts their feelings. But Sir Percival cried because he had once written a letter to his favorite knight, Sir Lancelot, who had given him a shot. So Sir Percival made Cole his assistant knight. Cole had a lot to learn. He learned how to sharpen Sir Percival's swords, spears, battle axes, and knight pencils. He learned how to ride a horse and swing a sword. How to paint Sir Percival doing awesome knight poses. And claim Sir Percival and calm Sir Percival when he awoke from nightmares about a big scary underwear dragon. Cole learned how to get knocked off a horse. Oh, right into a pile of manure. Yeah. Knocked down by a knight knocked over by a princess, and knocked out by a catapult. At battle time, Cole learned how to pack Sir Percival's stuff, lug it to battle, cheer for Sir Percival when the battle began, 
and bandage his boo-boos when it was all over. Cole loved learning what made Sir Percival a great knight, even if Sir Percival was terrified of an underwear dragon that would come and destroy the kingdom. Unfortunately, an underwear dragon came and destroyed the kingdom. All the knights fought the underwear dragon and all the knights lost. Pretty soon there was only one knight left, Sir Percival. Pretty soon there were no knights left. So Cole wrote another letter. Dear underwear dragon, I am only an assistant knight of the round table, but I think you should clean up the mess you made because it's not nice to mess up a kingdom that does not belong to you. I can help you if you want, Cole. The underwear dragon got Cole's letter and ate it. Underwear dragons can't read letters or gesture sweaters, billboards, signs for gill swords, party invitations, poems about crustaceans, royal decrees, bath oil recipes, moat signs, goat kinds, menus, words with 10 U's, or even maps that medieval hens use. They can't read. The underwear dragon went to eat coal next. Uh-oh. When Cole saw the underwear dragon, he was scared. And when the underwear dragon attacked, Cole didn't think he would be able to do anything. But then Cole remembered everything he'd learned from being an assistant knight and fought and jousted and wrestled and catapulted the underwear dragon until its underwear flew off and so did the dragon. The whole kingdom cheered Hooray! and helped Cole clean up the mess the underwear dragon had made. And look, they made a banner out of the underwear dragon's underwear. It says, thank you, Cole. I don't know if I would want to touch on the underwear that a dragon was wearing. Back at the, his castle, King Arthur made Cole a knight and gave him a place at the round table. But Sir Cole just wanted to get some rest. Because tomorrow he needed to find his own assistant knight of the round table. The end. That was Attack of the Underwear Dragon. And of course, Anytime we read a book that has something to do with underwear, we have to sing the underwear song. Do you remember the underwear song? If not, you'll learn it real quick because it's a lot of fun and then you'll be singing it the rest of the day and you'll be singing it every time you get changed and change your underwear because it goes like this. Underwear is fun to wear, I wear them every day. Underwear is fun to wear, no matter what you say. You should always wear your undies, no matter what. Cause you always need something covering your butt. So, underwear is fun to wear, I wear them every day. Underwear is fun to wear, no matter what you say. Hey, 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 underwear is fun to wear, I wear them every day. Underwear is fun to wear no matter what you say. And you can have all sorts of fun with that song. And, you know, hey, it's an underwear song, so what would, you know, what's wrong with that? Nothing, that's right. We could all use some more underwear songs, I think. But we also need a lullaby because it's pajama story time. So of course we will do our silly lullaby. So grab your snuggle buddy, whether that is your grown up or your stuffed animal or a pillow or a blanket or a sibling or a pet or yourself. Give yourself a big hug and get ready for our silly lullaby by Sandra Boynton, of course. Thank you, Sandra Boynton, for this wonderful silly lullaby. Snuggle up. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say achoo. The chickens in the bathtub, 
the closet full of sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl is whispering moo. <laughs> and with that, we say good night. And thank you so much for joining me for Pajama Storytime. I hope to see you guys in the library soon. Come and say hi. Check out some books. We would love to see you. Bye for now.